Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal 4 tutorial. Today is just going to be a very quick and basic one, but I'm going to be going over all of the most common error messages which you get in Unreal, which a lot of people find confusing and don't know what to do about. And this is simply just going to go over what it is and the best ways of dealing with it and what really is going to be causing it. So if I hit play, you can see that if I try to move around, I'm not going to have any animations. And if I close it, we're going to get this error message of blueprint runtime error, access non, trying to read property, character reference. Now for you, the character reference bit there might be different depending on what the error is for you. Again, in this, I'm going to be showing you what it is. So in this example, what I've got is I'm just going to be doing this in the animation blueprint as that is where it commonly is for a lot of people as well. But again, this applies for wherever it is for you. So again, what it says is blueprint runtime error, access none, trying to read property, and then this character reference here, that will be the name of the variable it is trying to read. Then it says blueprint, and this here is the blueprint it is currently in. And if you depress that, it's going to take you to this blueprint. So it won't take you to the error, but it will take you to the blueprint itself. And you can see obviously the error here is because I haven't got it connected, but I'm going to be going over this again in a minute. And then you can also see function execute ubergraph third person and in BP. So that is the actual function it is in or the event graph. So if I click that, again, it's going to take us to this event graph. So if I exit this and then press this, it's going to take us to the current event graph in the blueprint where the error is. And then again, this here is the event graph it is in. So if you've got more than one and this here set is in air is where the error is actually being caused. So if I press this one here, it's going to take us to the thing which is causing the problem. Now you might notice that it's actually this which is given the problem, but that's because it's trying to set is in air. And to do that is getting is falling from the character movement from the character reference. So you really just got to follow the code back until you find the problem. So we're setting is in air, setting that from is falling, that's okay. Getting that from the character movement, that's okay. We're getting the character movement from the character reference. Are we setting that? No, we're not. So again, the access error message is really from where you're not setting something or not setting it properly. So you might think if I could to connect this up, compile and save, that will fix it because we're now setting it. So let's test that out. If we were to hit play, you can see it has fixed the animations. However, if I were to close this, we're still going to get the errors. So if I show message log, you can see here, it's still accessing non trying to read the property. And now the reason for that is just because this update animation is firing off before we have actually set the variable. So it's firing off before we set it, meaning it's trying to access something which hasn't been created or set yet. So a very, very simple way of fixing this, which works in pretty much any case, whenever you have an access non, this one node is a massive savior for us. What we're going to do is right click and get an is valid node. I prefer to use the one with the question mark here because it's all in one node, as you can see here. So I'm going to move all of this out a little bit to give us some space, uh, move the is valid in with the execution going into update animation. The input object is going to be my character reference, or again, this is going to be whatever the variable is for you, which needs to be set, because what we're doing is we're just checking to see if it is valid. And so is valid is then going to go into the set is in air, because if this variable is valid, i.e. it has been set, we can then access it. So that's what we want to do. If it is not valid, it means it hasn't been set. So that will give us errors if we try to use it. So I'm not going to do anything out of it. it's not valid. Or what you can do is you can actually then set this here like so. So you can do that. So when it isn't valid, it's then going to set it to make sure that it is valid. Then when it is valid, it's going to use it. And you don't have to use this node. What you can do is you can get an is valid like so and, and just get the one with the function underneath it like so, inputting the object in there, and then this can go into a branch like so instead. But again, I just prefer to keep it all in this one node like this. So now if we were to compile, save and hit play, you'll see that the animations are working. And if we were to exit, we don't get any error messages because again, we are checking to see if we have set this variable. And if we haven't, it's not going to be valid. So it's going to set it, meaning it is valid. So that will then work, meaning we don't get any errors. So again, that is the basic part of what causes the issue. If you haven't set it, or you haven't set it properly, it basically accessing none means there's nothing there to be accessed. So if I were to just create the variable, then try to use it, that won't work because I need to set it as well, which is what I'm doing here. And again, I showed you how to actually find the error as well. So what we're gonna do is if I were to just um, get rid of this, so just go straight into there without setting it, hit play, you see that this isn't gonna work. And again, what we can do is press these different buttons to find out where the error actually is occurring. 
So again, I already knew where it was because I set this up on purpose to actually give us the error. But again, you basically just press this last one here, that will take you to the node giving you the error, and you just follow it back until you find a variable which hasn't been set properly. And then you'd obviously just set it accordingly how you would, or use the is valid node here again. So other cases where it might be is, so this actually gets set later on in the code when you maybe pick up an item, it gets set. So you wanna have this is valid, so none of the code is fired off until you actually set it and therefore want to use it. So I hope this will make sense of what the error is, what causes it, how to find it and how to fix it. Just covered all of that in this video. So again, I hope that makes sense. Hope it explains it for you and hope it helps you fix your error in your code as well. If you do need any more specific help, let me know in the comments down below. Try to give me an example of what it is and then also maybe some screenshots as well and I will try to get back to you. But if I don't, then always message me on Discord. I do always respond on Discord, but I can't always see every comment on YouTube. So again, hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.